Alyssa. Hello. Alyssa. Hi, Alyssa. Oh my God, I did it. <sighs> you did. You did. I, I don't know it. if you did it because I don't really know what, what you're referring to by it. If by it you're referring to you made it on to the to the to the call-in show, that is true. Do you? What are your goals in life? What do you want to do? What is the real it? Because like, look, you know, this <laughs> was just sort of a random thing here. I assume. I hope that you have larger goals in your life than to make it into my call-in show. I would love to hear what those are. <laughs> yeah, the it I was referring to in this moment was totally making sure. it on the show. It was uh, sure, sure. I only just made a Twitch, <laughs> so like I got the notification. I'm like, yeah, I never Beautiful. actually seen you live, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and I did it. Mm -hmm. But my bigger goals mm -hmm. right now is just getting a car and getting my own place. That's pretty much the get, big goal. Getting a car. Get in your own place. Um, Those are the big goals. <laughs> what's stopping you from uh, from from this? Do you have uh, some sort of employment that you are, are currently in the process of doing? Oh, um, I just got a new job actually. Nice. It's been uh, I had a I had a baby last year during the whole pandemic. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you. But uh, me and uh, me and Daddy didn't work out, you know. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's that's where I'm at now. I'm just trying to get out. And I've got a question, and by the way, look, we've met each other for two seconds, and so you don't owe me any information about your life that you're not comfortable telling me. But, um, you know, is, are, 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 are you planning on, on raising the kid alone? Is the dad going to be in the picture? He wants to be, so, like, I'm going to let him do that as long as he wants to be. But, like, I've, I've decided I'm, it's got to be, once I'm out of the house, it'll be, because we're just co-living right now. Sure, sure. Which is, uh, it's something. I'm sure you can imagine. I don't gotta, you can read blanks. <laughs> but, sure, sure. but, uh, yeah, hopefully. I, if, if that's what, if that's what he wants, he says that's what he wants. So I'll allow that. But if, if he chooses not to, I'm not gonna stop him. I find it so interesting. I find it impressive, honestly, how indifferent you are to him being a part of the picture because. Yeah, I mean, on, just on a personal level, like if I had a kid, I, I would be, you know, um, feeling like I would need all the help I can get. I'm, I'm impressed by this this level of confidence that you're displaying. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. I mean, the first couple. This is this is all fresh. Like a month, a month or two, and uh, mm. I've had I've had support from my friends. Uh, cool. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm outside of my porch. Uh, but, um, uh, sorry, I lost my train of thought. Oh, no worries. I've reached, out to, I've reached out to friends and family, and they've been helping out little by little. Um, mm -hmm. I was doing, like, the single ma thing before all this, so he was working. But now that he's not, I had to go out, get a, get a job, which I found right away. It, it, awesome. With everything going on, everybody's hiring. So now it's just making those financial moves and getting it's going to be a long process and I'm trying to just take it day by day you know what I mean because mm -hmm. fighting and bickering and trying to get like that's not gonna that ain't gonna solve nothing mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you sound and like I'm a just, really good mindset about all this I'm trying to stay positive I really am <laughs> it comes oh, and goes oh well, thank you thank um, you uh, uh, have you always wanted to have a kid yeah, I always wanted um I wanted to have I always wanted to have a son and I got him. And he's he's 1 years old now. And I'm so sorry. No, don't be sorry. I live in a city full of bikes. That, I'm trying to determine if that is a truck or some sort of inner city swamp monster. <laughs> it's definitely an inner city swamp monster. 
you know, I, you know what? I'm also proud of you for, you know, because uh, if I lived in an area with inner city swamp monsters, I would think to myself, should I bring a child into this world? And I appreciate the fact that you are willing to do so in spite of the fact that you live in an area with inner city swamp monsters. Well, you got to keep you got to keep a look at you got to have a dog. You got to have mm-hmm. all the things you need to keep all the swamp monsters at bay. So as long as you got all that mm-hmm. set, you can just do anything. You can do anything as long as you put your mind to it. That's what I'm trying to keep. I agree with that. Tell me, but really quick, what what are you most excited about uh, for having this child? Watching. Uh, I'm not sure. It's something I've always wanted. Like since I was little, little. Like I wanted to grow up and have a family, mm-hmm. and it's been kind of kind of hard knowing that like i'm not gonna have that perfect family like most you know statistics i'm sure you've seen them all too well, but, well okay well oh, i i want to i actually kind of want to talk about that for just a second here because this idea and i'm not trying to you know whatever but this idea of like a perfect family is oh it really screwed up my mental subjective. as a small child yes really that's what i've that's what i've been like recently trying to like accept and trying to keep in my positive mindset you know kids you watch a lot of shows and Mm -hmm. you watch a lot of movies and i really you always know there's those you know there are kids living with their grandparents one mom one dad two moms two dads you know whatever the situation may be but like as long as the house is full of love and that's what my breakup was about we had been going downhill a while and it was more he had to pull the bullet. He had to pull the trigger, but like, um, it was mutually accepted. Mm-hmm. And it's kind of hard to sometimes to accept that. I was kind of like, I was, I was real wallowy for one for a week, but then I kind of had to like, you know, kind of like shake it off and be like, you know, there's this is more than me now. And mm-hmm. I guess it's kind of having something that's more than me. That's what I look forward to. Mm. I like that. I, I, I just want to say I, a couple things. First of all, I fully agree with you. That was what I was thinking, too, is that, you know, a perfect family, you know, is just one with a lot of love in it. Exactly. And again, again, uh, I, I pre- I'm so impressed. I'll say it again. By the confidence that you're displaying in, like, you know, I don't, you know, it's great that he wants to be in the picture, but I don't need him, you know. You can handle these things, these things on your own. So you know, uh, uh, I'm 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 impressed by all of this, and I hope that you you don't succumb to any pressures of wanting a perfect family, because that that to me is not something that even exists. No, I agree. At this point, at this point, I've come to realize my perfect family is me, that little boy, my derpy faced pug of a dog. <laughs> my cat and the snake and that's that's those are the only things that i need to worry about beautiful thank you so much for sharing Alyssa. i wish you best of luck and have a good rest of the night you too um thank you again for having me guys of course take care Alyssa. you too have a good night bye call from rennie rennie Oh my god, I got in. Holy shit. Hi, Gag. How are you doing? Hello, Rennie. How are you? I'm doing awesome. How are you, man? Um, do you know I'm doing good? I, it took me a little bit to get back into the rhythm of being on the internet talking uh, to people, you know, like when you've been out of the 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 zone for a little bit you kind of have to ease back into it but i i feel like i'm in a better place now to uh uh, uh you know converse with you um rennie like That's ren good. and stimpy i'm so sorry how you doing ren oh man tell me I'm, everything i'm doing great um i've been wanting to get on your show for a while because i've been really happy about something honestly um you know, I came out as bi not too long ago, and I found out, like, I have these feelings, and, um, sorry, I'm, like, nervous talking about it, because it's awesome no, that I got you... on your show, because I want to I show this law to my kind of girlfriend, but 
Yeah, it's like we've been friends for so long, and I've been through so much, and she's always been there for me, and kind of have feelings for her, <laughs> and found mm-hmm. out she has feelings for me, and oh man, it's been it's been great, it's been awesome, and it's been a long time, so this this is good. <laughs> so tell me, all right, so you, you sound like you're very happy. I'm curious, like what aspects in, are there aspects in particular that you're happy about this? Are you are you happy that you feel more free to be yourself? Happy mainly that you're about to try to embark. It sounds like on a new relationship with a person. Yeah, yeah. And the thing is, um, honestly, when um, when I was in my previous relationships, it was um, it was just toxic. Um, I've I always had these feelings like I've always liked the same sex as well, but I never showed it because, you know, the way I grew up was like, it's, you know, you usually like boys. That's that's pretty much it. But um I was in that relationship and I found out it was so toxic. Like I couldn't cut my hair because he hated it that I looked like a boy mm-hmm. and it just really, really, really hurt my self esteem and it really, really messed me up for a long time. And you know, meeting this person, she's so great. She always encourages me to just be myself. Um, I wanted to cut my hair short for the longest time and you know, I finally took the plunge and I did it. And my God, I feel amazing. I just, I, I feel so much more comfortable in my own body. It's, it's just great. And I just wanted to share that with you. And I guess everybody else on the internet. <laughs> I'm proud of you, Renny. I, I always say it, it, it can be difficult to uh, be yourself in many situations. And even if it causes you some sort of short-term pain, maybe with, you know, your parents or I I don't know who the people or things are in your life that were causing friction, but even if it causes short-term pain in in those relationships, I'm proud of you for doing it because it it always pays off in the end. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, it's been so long, man. I'm I'm about to turn 30 in this October. So it's like, I've been keeping this yeah, I've been keeping this in for so long, and it just feels great just to finally let it all out and be me, you know? So just wanted to share that to everybody, and I hope everybody listening, just be yourself. That's all you can ask for, man. Life can is can I ask you something? And you yeah. don't have to, again, you know, this seems like, you know, you don't have to tell me anything that you don't want to tell me or talk about anything you don't want to talk about, but... Yeah. I am curious, is there a reason w- why you decided to, to wait so long? Um, well, I, I was when I was in that toxic relationship, I was with him for almost 11 years, actually. Um, and it was more like, you know, I, I it was kind of man- manipulative. And it was like, you know, you can't find anybody better you know you this is the best you can do you're always wrong i'm right and it just it really 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 fucked me up for a long time Mm -hmm. but you know i um i started therapy about a year and a half ago um you know just talking about all that and it's just it it just feels like such a weight off my shoulders to actually be able to be myself and awesome yeah it's been it's been a journey, man. It's been a journey, but I'm really happy. I just I finally feel comfortable with me. Well, thank you so much for sharing, Ren. I hope that I uh, hope that other people hear this and get inspired. Absolutely, absolutely, Gag. Thank you so much, man. I love you. Of thank you. You're amazing. Of course, you have a good rest of the night, Renny. Thank you so much. You too. Bye. Call from Carly. Hello? Hey, is this the Gecko? This is the Gecko. Hey, Mr. Gecko. I think I'm like the real first person that actually has problems. I honestly do. You're the first person that actually has problems. Well, um, I listen, I, I don't mean that disrespectful because everyone that called in today, they actually, you know what, I take that back. But I'm in pain, Mr. Gecko. You're in pain. Well, let me. I want to say a few things up front first, if sure. I can. Absolutely. Uh, uh, I, I have no idea what I'm doing. The express purpose of this stream is less so t- uh, to help solve people's problems and more so. T- uh, t- I I don't know. I can't finish that sentence. But 
Um, I'm not qualified to do anything. I hope you are aware of that. Oh, absolutely. And listen, I, I, I think your stream is great. I, I've had a couple of drinks, and I'm actually beside my loved one right now. And we had some problems. We thought we'd call you, and you can help figure it out. And, okay, these are what? these are relationship problems. Yes, that's right. Yep. Please, I'd love to. Please, go ahead. Okay, how about... Uh, I'm gonna say Elizabeth, can you chime in as well? What do you think our real problem is here? Yes, let's hear it from uh, her. I, I don't know. I don't know if we have a problem. We've been living in his parents' basement for two years, saving up hmm. for a house, and um, I think it's just living here with the five grandkids uh, and his parents. It can be kind of suffocating. And I think she should be uh, grateful. What do you think? So I, I look. Uh, how old are you guys? Uh, we're old enough. We'll say that. I'm 29. Are, you're 20. I always think. Look, uh, uh, personally, I think living with your parents in their basement, whatever, to save some money. You know, living kind of annoyingly for a few years, so that you can live well later on. I, I always think is a is a good decision. Um, if you can hack it. That's, that's true. I just, um, I, I, I don't like going in the kitchen, so I just eat a lot of canned beans, and I can't order mm -hmm. Uber Eats because I'm ashamed to, and it just, um, it makes me nervous. Are, are you avoiding the kitchen because you or don't want to run into any of the grandkids? Yes, exactly, because um, they eat Nutella every day for breakfast, okay. and I, he gets mad. He thinks I'm food shaming them. I'm not. It's food shaming. It's hard. He's food shaming the children. I'm I'm confused as to why you're afraid to be around the children because they eat Nutella. Well, it's just they get really, really hyper after. Like they That's run true. around and they scare our cats because they stomp. We're in the basement and there's no soundproofing and they're stomping and the cats freak out. And one of my cats got vicious. Oh, hold on, hold on. For, 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 forget about the cats for just a second. Why do they scare you? Oh, they scare me because I'm just not used to kids, really. I think she's actually afraid. This is what our kids are going to be like. I'm sorry. I have, sorry, Elizabeth. Okay. Are, you, are you guys uh, planning to have kids? Yeah, I want to. This is, a, see, this is like a serious problem, but yeah, I want to. She's a maybe. Because she, she sounds like she doesn't like kids, which, by the way, this is completely understandable. Kids are terrible. Yeah, I mean... Well, yeah, I agree. Yeah, other kids are terrible. But my own? I don't know. We'll see. I I, I, I agree with that sentiment. But, I, okay, I, I, Elizabeth, I still don't understand why you don't want to go into the kitchen because of all these kids. Well, you can just ignore them, by the way. If they want to if they want to call you, you um, aunt or I don't, I don't know what your They call me Auntie Elizabeth. The, they call to Auntie... Uh, when they say Auntie Elizabeth, Auntie Elizabeth, just ignore them. They, you owe them nothing, really. Yeah, but I don't want to ignore them and give them a complex either, you know? Like, they're kids, I get it. But, like, if I haven't had my coffee yet and they want it play ring around the rosy, I just, right. it makes me feel exhausted before I've even started my day. Look, you can't set yourself on fire just to make a bunch of kids happy, you know? Yeah, that's true. That's true. Uh, you, you got. I, I. I. I feel like you should assert more dominance over the kitchen instead of letting these kids make it into the the Lord of the Flies. Oh, I like that. What's a practical one? Practical tip I can do to do that? Because I even bought a coffee maker, so I would be downstairs, and I feel like they won that battle. So, what's something I? How do I assert dominance in the kitchen? Uh, well, don't hit any of them. <laughs> no. Oh, I could replace the Nutella with, like, something healthy. No. I don't know. No, no, no. <sighs> this is not a Nutella thing. It's I'm a... telling you just to keep ignoring them. That's what you ignore. should do. Yeah, here's, your assertive, here's your assertion of dominance. This is to just ignore them. There's five, though, and it's a 400-foot square... 400 square foot. Okay, I guess I could. Okay, just just act like like. This is what mindfulness is about. This is what mindfulness is about. Is how can you be centered, even if there's five fucking kids? Because that's the thing. If you can if you can find the the, the mental juice though 
to make your freaking coffee as stoically as possible or five kids are whipping you with a jumping rope. You can do anything, Elizabeth. Uh, oh, take it as a um, challenge. Gecko, I, I'm right. going to think of you tomorrow morning. Beautiful. Okay. Thank you guys so much for, for, yeah. for, uh, for calling in. Um, I, I wish you the best of luck. Enjoy the house that you will inevitably uh, 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 receive as a reward for your troubles. Oh, or, I don't know, you. maybe you'll die before then. The li life is crazy. <laughs> but I hope you don't. <laughs> Thanks, Gecko. You're the best. You have a good night, guys. Yeah. All right, take care. Call from... Max. Max. Yeah. Good. Hey, how's it going? Can something be anything? Uh... Yeah, I mean, I'd say so, yeah. Like, just based on the physical properties of, you know, the universe, I'd say something could be anything. Do you know a lot about the physical properties of the universe? No, not at all. And I'm not going to pretend like I do either, but I do know a lot of big words. I appreciate Look, here's the thing. A guy, anyone who will just come out and just say that they don't fucking know, I, I'm, I will believe you more than I will someone who's like, I went to college and I know what the molecule is. Like, you don't know anything, dude. Come on. No, I went to college and I incurred a lot of debt. Yes. What did you What did you go for? Oh my God! You name it. I've uh, I was I had like four or five different majors, oh, and then and then head. I never finished. So like I'm mm. kind of good at a few things, and then everything else is just backwash. Tell Tell me these things that you're kind of good at. Uh, well, I was a music major. That that didn't work out because uh, I didn't want to do the work. I just wanted to be like a rock star. I guess I was hoping that I would uh, end up with a, a degree in being a rock star. Um, then I was an English major, which we all know that's a big old waste of time. Sorry if you're an English major. Um, then I was a communications major. So it's like I went from like English, pretty, pretty specific, then communications, a little broader. And then uh, tried my hand at computer sciences. That didn't work out. Then I uh, then I quit. Mm. Mm. Um. Mm. See, so yeah, the thing with a music major is like all this shit. You can just learn how to make music on YouTube, man, for free. I know. I know. Yeah, I know. Trust me. I mean, it's a. Uh, it seems like. Uh, have to... uh, what were you gonna say? Nah, it just seemed like a big waste of my time. But I was also a child. I mean, you know, you're 18 when you start in school. Or, well, I mean, most people are when they start in college. And it's just like, I'm going to be this. And then, you know, you get there and you go, oh, wait, I just want to, like, get high all the time. Mm, mm. I, I, You know, I was going to say, you don't even need YouTube to make music. You can just go la, 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 la. Yeah, that's beautiful. Look Fine. at that. Nailed it. From the brain. Are you high right now? No. No, I am not. How much debt are you in? Oh, God. Uh, ballpark? I mean, I don't know the exact number off the top of my head. It's some, some like 65 grand or something like that. Mm -hmm. Spent a whole bunch of money I didn't have. Uh, they should not have given to me. And then... Uh, and now they ask for it back all the time, and I try not to answer the phone when they call. Damn. I that, know. that actually that pisses me off, man. Because you're because you're right, and I'm about to, I, I I've got a serious rant in me that I won't go on for the sake of time. But you're correct. At 18, you don't know what the fuck you're doing. You just you're hot no. all the time. Yeah, and uh, you're like, I'm gonna, and then the, all these people are like, Hey, you got to go to college now, and you're like, All right, sick, and they're like, All right, give us sixty five thousand dollars, and you're like, Sure, it's yeah, fucked up. It's, a, it's predatory. That money is made up. That's imaginary money. That's right. Like... Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's not. It's not fucked. If you're going to do a real thing, not to say that mute. Okay, okay. 
Not to yeah, say that careful. music <laughs> is not a real thing. Music is a totally real thing. It's a totally legitimate career. Yeah. G- music school is not real. No. No. What are um, they teaching me? I don't know. How do you play the guitar? You could play, learn how to play the piano on fucking YouTube. Yeah. You know? Anyway, I mean, what do you do now with your life? Well, right now I am, uh, I'm actually, I just started a new job in fast food. I won't name the place, but uh, weirdly enough, they sent me to like boot camp. I mean, that's that's basically what it's akin to. I I am away from my home, uh, roughly 1,700 miles away from my home uh, for like 10 weeks. And then when I go back home, I will be a certified manager for this restaurant for this brand uh i've been in restaurants for like 12 13 years now and i've been in management for probably eight years of that and this is pretty intense for what is essentially uh just fast food again i don't want to give too much away (laughs) you're you're going to a 10-week mcdonald's boot camp yeah, it's not McDonald's. I will say that. I'll tell you what it's not. It's not McDonald's. But can, can I uh, why why are you so I mean it's not the CIA, you know. Why what's the I'm what I'm more curious about than what the restaurant is is like why you can't tell us. Well, I guess I don't want to be too descriptive about my my actual identity more or less so i mean it's not really out i mean no i'm not gonna tell you what it is i'm gonna leave i'm gonna leave you hanging on that one um but why do you have to go to a 10 week i mean i've never heard of that do you have to go to a 10 tell me you tell tell me i I don't know thing like are you out of town for 10 weeks yeah i uh my my wife is at home with three kids and i am in tucson arizona okay so that i'll tell you I'm in Tucson, Arizona. Obviously, it's already too late. I've already told you. That's more personal than <laughs> what the restaurant is. That's more <laughs> private information than the information that you're withholding. But, but you don't know where I'm like from. You don't know where, where I came from. The physical place that I. Well, you do know I'm 1,700 miles away from my home, and I'm in Tucson. So you pull out a, a compass. You might be able to figure it out. But. That's a large enough radius that it's... I mean, look, what's your name again? You told me your name. What's your name? It's Max. No one's coming after you. you that's know. fair. What, I mean, that's what, totally what are we going to do? We're steal your identity? I don't know. You might come to Tucson and kill me. I don't know. There might be people listening that are want, already upset. I don't want to kill you. Well, that's not for me to say. I'm not, I don't want to kill me, but... Somebody might want to kill me, and if they do, they now know where I'm at, and that's on me. That's my fault. Let me. T- I, 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 here's the thing: if someone wanted to kill, if someone wanted to just kill someone, the yeah. only reason I think someone listening to this right now would want to kill you is just because they just wanted to kill someone. They just had a bloodlust, and yeah, find and the the and the challenge of. Finding you based off of this information alone is impossible. Um, the only thing I could think of is if someone had not only a bloodlust, but they wanted the challenge of killing you. Yeah. And that was appealing to them. I'll start but wearing, the hey, I'll, of that. I'll wear a shirt that says, like, I was on Therapy Gecko Monday night. I'm the guy that works in fast food, but I won't tell you where. That might make it easier. But then they'd still have to wade through all the meth heads in Tucson, Arizona to find me. Not that I'm a meth head, but there's a ton of them here. Okay. So, Max. Yeah, that's me. All right, so you're at boot camp. What do you do? All right, so it's is it is this like is this like an upper management thing or is it like you're in you're in the restaurant doing the you know Yeah, the, man, the, it's the operations. Like I'm I'm in the yeah, I'm in the restaurants and uh they said the their training locations are like in Arizona and Nevada, and I ended up in Arizona where it's 115 degrees every day, 
which everybody keeps saying, but it's a dry heat, but it's dry, it's still 115 fucking degrees. Pardon my language. But that's where I'm at. And uh, every day I go and I get to stand over grills and fryers. Well, not every day, five days a week, about 50 hours of my week. I'm in a restaurant just learning how to make food and how to manage people and how to lead a team, which again, I've got experience already in doing those things, but I genuinely believe that this is just like a brainwash, like a corporate brainwash tactic to get me to think about nothing but this brand and this business for 10 weeks. This sounds like a pain in the ass. Like, why would you go through Like, if you have the experience, why would you yeah. go through this instead of just, uh, you know, being a manager at somewhere that well, doesn't want to send you to a booth? I, because I had a, because I have a bloated salary. Like, I, my income, okay. not that it's like insane, but like my last job paid me quite a bit of money. So it was nearly impossible to find anything that was even equal to that pay, but I really hated that job and I wanted to get away from it. It was making me absolutely miserable. So when I was approached by this brand that I'm currently training for, and they offered me more than what I was making, it was hard for me to say no, especially because I like, I don't know if you heard me earlier, I got three children, one, two, three of them, and they, they are expensive. So. Oh, I bet. Yes, yeah, money, man. Well, look, uh, Max, uh, it sounds like you're at the very least taking this all in stride. Yeah, I do. You, you do what you can. Go see the Tucson Botanical Gardens. It's very hot, but it's pretty if you're ever in Tucson. Just so you know, that's like the only pretty thing in the city. I apologize to anybody from Tucson, but your city is uh, awful, and I cannot wait to go home. <laughs> Best of luck, Max. Thank you for calling in. <laughs> Sayonara. Call from Nick. Nick? Hey. hey. Hello? Hello. Hey, I don't know if I can follow up after Max from Chick fil A. But. Oh, you thought he was from. you? You're, is that what you're assuming he is? Is Chick fil A? Gotta be Chick fil A. Uh, you know what? It's probably Chick fil A gotta be chick-fil-a is so, interesting chick-fil-a is interesting because like that their the way that they've like branded everything is is that it's like you know there's like fast casual and then there's fast food yeah they're in the middle they're they're, they're kind of they in the middle but i mean all the shit is this it's all gonna kill you but they've successfully the branded themselves as fast casual whilst being fast food Yes. So I I stumbled across your channel on Reddit late at night here. And I'm thinking about leaving my job. And I was wondering how you came up with a gecko on a microphone. (laughs) Therapy. Uh, I wish I had a clean origin story for you. But (laughs) it's really a culmination of a lot of different things. I I got a little lucky as well. Okay. Um, because I stumbled upon uh, Arpan, and uh, I've since, uh, you know, moved on to other places on the internet. But um, uh-huh. Arpan, I was like, this is a thing that it's like, you know, on Twitch. If you go on Twitch, you, you know, no one will ever watch you do anything. But if you go on Arpan, you know, it's got a good community there. So I just started streaming on Arpan. Um, as a lizard, and I and uh, and I just didn't stop, and now I'm here, and I did not expect it, but uh, but okay, but uh, I, I, enough about me. I I, I want to hear about you. Wh- you're thinking about leaving your job? Yeah. Yep. Probably am going. Yeah. Pro- you're probably not. You say? I probably am. Probably am. Yep. Sick. Why? Yep. What made? Why do you want to leave? Uh. Without getting too specific about what I do. Real quick, um, am I on speakerphone right now? Yes, apologies. Could you take me off? It's slightly hard to hear you. Without getting into... Is that a little better? Much better, thank you. Without getting into specifically what I do. um, 
I will say that a series of societal events have led to um, the degeneration of the type of work that I do, which no longer makes it possible or safe to continue. So um, just looking for other work and uh, yeah. Yep. Interesting. That's about it. So your job has become, and and you know, look, uh, you know, it sounds like you're, you, you have. This is not something you want to go super in depth into, so you don't feel like you uh, are, uh, don't feel pressured to. Um, but you feel like you're not. Your job is not safe anymore. No, 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 no longer uh, safe, uh, like physically safe and or um, uh, like liability sake. Safe. Viability. It's no longer. Uh, li- it's li- no longer safe li- nor lucrative. Li- uh, or li- like the liability is involved in are too high. Okay. Yeah, um, so. Well, I want. I'm proud of you, dude. Well, thank you for getting out of there. You know. Thank you. I'm and, uh, really hoping. I'm happy to hear that you're prioritizing stock. your health. I'm sorry. What did you say? Thank you. Really hoping this AMC stock takes off. So, uh, if you're not in it, you should know better. I haven't been following AMC. It's it's only fifty eight bucks. Get one of them How and sell it a hundred thousand. About twenty eight. Yeah, twenty eight. Have you ever thought yeah. about? Because here's what I would do, if I fucking if everything goes wrong in my life, or if I you know run out of money, I would probably just um, scrape to. I would try to scrape together enough money to move to like like Vietnam or something like that and it was somewhere yeah. where somewhere where the purchasing power of my dollar it like increases by a lot like a Thailand or a Costa Rica yeah yeah something like that yeah. you ever think about doing that I've thought about it probably Alaska just to Alaska, to Alaska. Which, is, Ala- is Alaska cheap yeah not only is Alaska cheap but after you've lived there from uh, December to December, a, a calendar year. You can't live there from like July to July. If you live there from December to December, you and your family are eligible for uh, oil money. <laughs> so you can, you, yeah, you get a certain amount of money per person, and it's like up to ten thousand dollars per person per year. And then in March, the government also does like a survey of how much people make in March. So all the little businesses shut down, and then they give you more money based on you not having income in the month of March. So um, it's it's cheap, and they give you tons of money, and it, you can find land out there. It sounds like you've done a lot of research into moving to Alaska. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Are you? Are you? Is that what you're thinking? How, do you have a family? Uh yeah, yeah. How do you yeah, think that's they would the feel about you moving to Alaska? So far from family. That's the only problem. They wouldn't come with? Uh no, no, they they, they don't want to leave their family. No. By the way, this is the plot of the Simpsons movie. Oh really? Yeah. I have Homer seen it. wants to move to Alaska, but the family doesn't want to go. Anyway, um it was, not, it was nice me- it was nice meeting you. I I I uh was interested in the the gecko story and i look forward to uh maybe a live show sometime oh sure sure uh i I didn't know if you you wanted to keep talking about this at all i'm 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 interested in um oh sure um why uh, what what are you leaning towards doing um so i'm i'm kind of handy in a lot of ways i've 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 kept my cars running forever. I do some carpentry. I do um, photography. A number of just little things that I'm halfway decent at. So mm-hmm. um, probably a YouTube channel or something. I'm not sure exactly yet. Um, oh, you're I'm thinking not... about trying to do like some like content internet shit? But yeah, potentially. Um, like I'm kind of tired of working for other people, and I'm not going to school to get yeah. more debt because I've already got... I've been down to ten grand on that, so I'm not trying to get uh-huh. into more of that. Uh huh. Uh huh. But um, hmm. What 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 would it be like your ideal sort of business to have? Like just straight up business. Um, I've actually started um buying 
materials and making things and putting them on Amazon, like manufacturing. Okay. Um, and I, and that's that's doing pretty well, um, like carpentry stuff, like American-made stuff. I, I'm I'm into. Um, I'd be down. I, I really love photography, like landscape photography, um, like wildlife photography. So kind of doing some of that. Uh, Can I ask this? Um, this stuff that you're putting on Amazon is it more practical stuff or like art? Uh, more more practical stuff. Like uh, yeah, it's 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 small right now. I have some I, like for board games, like dice rolling trays, and I'm working yeah. on some cutting boards and charcuterie boards and things like that. Like uh, just quality made American stuff that uh. I'd like to have a couple employees doing making things at some point, um, but have like a YouTube side of it that was marketing and also making money for the business as well. I like I like your voice, by the way. You should definitely be in these videos because right just now, I don't know if anyone heard it, but when you said quality made American, like you sounded like the, a voice in a commercial saying it. That's, that's funny. I, <laughs> I've... I've told my uh, my wife that quite a few times that I should do voice acting. <laughs> she she finds it funny but also irritating when I do different accents. Don't don't put me on the spot right here, but um, but I appreciate the uh, <laughs> the bold confidence. Absolutely, man. I I, I think um, I think you should double down on these things. It sounds like you have it sounds like you have directions to go yeah. with. You know. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I, I I think you should totally double down on them. Appreciate that, man. Of course. Thank you. Alaska. I'm going to have to look into look because I also uh, try to think of, you know, plan B if I, you know, have to, you know, ditch out <laughs> off the grid. I've never considered Alaska, but I, I, I'm going to look that up now. Yeah, Alaska's, uh, Alaska is probably number one place. And there's tons of work, man. There's lots of fishing and uh, tons of, like, construction and maintenance. Like, there's just tons and tons of work there. You could disappear. I don't know if I'd go up there as a gecko, but well, but I might, uh, I might, I might see you in Alaska someday, my friend. All right, all right, man. Well, I appreciate the talk. Yeah, dude, it was a pleasure talking to you. I, um, I wish you the best of luck. You as well. Oh, one more thing. One more thing. Oh, go ahead. One more thing. Yep. And everyone in the chat fucking makes fun of me when I talk about this, but I don't care because it will change your life potentially. Uh huh. Is you is if you're gonna do any sort of like content like YouTube whatever, yep. make a TikTok. Do double down on TikTok because TikTok because the you the way that YouTube works mm -hmm. is it's really hard to build a channel, but it's it's not as hard to build a TikTok thing. So if you're gonna do any sort of content shit like that, focus on TikTok. Okay. Do they have like do they have any like other than like advertisements do they do spot like can you make money on tiktok i haven't even looked at tiktok i've no, never never even used it before what would you well, you can well if you wanted like you said that you want to make like these like advertisements for these these practical things mm -hmm. what you would do is you would make tiktoks talking about these things showing yourself making these things blah blah, blah like sort of you know gain a following as who you are and then mm -hmm. sort of use that to be like hey here's where i sell these things that i make these videos about me making so you would sort of use it as, as advertising. That's a good idea. Yeah, I might I might do that. You should. I believe in you, dude. Appreciate that, man. Thank you. And actually, thanks for the idea. Of course, man. I, ho I hope you do it. Hope to see you on the FYP, baby. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, All right, bro. Take it easy. Yep. Bye. I like this guy. Call from Sam. Don't pick. Stop. Why do you? Why not? Why do you want me to not pick up? What? No, 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 no. My dog pissed on the floor. Your dog pissed on the floor. That—that's what I said. Yep. Just now, am I on speakerphone? No. Uh, why? Why are you? Am I? Uh, did you? I mean, I mean, I assume you set the phone down to clean up the piss. No, I got, I got an AirPod in. I you sound very. Like... Can you guys hear Sam? You sound very faint. I'll, I'll, I can put you on speaker. You probably actually be able to hear me better. How's that? How's the mu? I, how's the music? Is the chat? Is the music too loud?
think this is more important than cleaning up piss. Well, well, I mean, look, if you need to, I mean, you can, we can talk while you pick, clean up this. Uh, nah, it's fine. It's just, I'll let it soak in. I'm used to it. You're used to it. How often yes. does your dog pee on the pee on the floor? I can't count past five, so. What do you want? What do you what What do you want from me with this? I don't know. I just I was just wanted to call in. It seemed cool. Okay. Your therapy, right? I here because there's. A, I feel like I can only go so far. <laughs> it with uh, okay. You, I put you on speaker. I, I, you could therapy my dog. I think she had anxious I, I, piss on the floor. Can you? Can your dog talk? <laughs> I don't think it's a Brian Griffin situation. No. Sam, listen. Sam, listen to me. I have a question for you. All right. Are you okay? That's a real philosophical question. It, it can be, depending on how, how you want to interpret it. Is that how you want me to interpret it? I don't want I don't want anything from you. Okay. I just saw someone in chat say therapist, I'm sorry. Don't look at Sam! Sam! Focus on me. Don't okay. look at chat. Don't look at the puddle of piss on your floor. Just, li just listen to my voice. You know what? I lied. I do want something from you. I want you to answer a question for me. Okay, I'll answer. I'll answer. Can something be anything? So we're going back to philosophical. Um, I, in essence, in theory, anything could be something and something could be anything. But in that moment, it is not that anything. It has the potential to become anything. Well, who the fuck is this? We're talking to a new guy here, because that was that that was not that did not sound like anything else you've said through the duration that I'm I'm talking to you. That sounded like you really thought it through. I knew it was in you. I think it's just the mental issues. It's science through the anxiety. You know, it kind of like it lets you live multiple lives, and you don't realize it until you know. It gives it to you when a scenario you thought through in your head, you didn't even realize you did. And now you realize you're a philosopher. Is is this a scenario that you thought through in your head previously? I might guess so. It just kind of showed up. Do, I do, are you referring to the scenario of us being on the phone right now? Oh, yeah. When you played out sort of a, 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 a simulation in your head of what it might be like to be on the phone um, with me, well, how, how did that play out in your head? And then how did that differentiate from how it played out in reality? If you consider this reality. I didn't expect you to pick up. So that's a pretty big difference. Sure. The, the piss is leaking into the floorboards. Sam? Yeah. For your benefit. I'm gonna let you I'm gonna let you clean up your dog's piss. Uh, if I were there in the room with you, I promise I would help. But I'm not. Oh that's 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 what, that's kind of you to say. Thank you for that's I really need to hear that. As I see the Good. piss draining into the floorboards. What do you, what how are you gonna are you just using paper towels or do you have like a and you know, what? at least it's on the at least it's on the hardwood floor. It'd be worse if it were on. It carpet. is, but I think I might have to lift it up to clean up the plywood underneath because it's, there's a, it's it's a small dog, but the amount of piss that they release is, is incomprehensible. It really looks like they took like a two liter bottle and just dumped it out in its entirety. Do you think that'll ruin the? Do you think it'll, it'll like grow mold or something? Probably not. Hasn't yet. Thank you for calling, Sam. I'll talk to you soon. And good luck with cleaning up your dog's piss. All right. I'll call back once I get it cleaned up. Beautiful. Sounds good. Hey, what okay, kind of dog thanks. is it? Oh, um, the dog? Um, Chihuahua Dachshund Mix. I kind of have to... You're, I don't know why, but this conversation is kind of making me have to piss. You could just turn around on a stream, maybe. Go behind this chair, just squat down or something. 
Oh, you're not crapping now. Never mind. You don't need to squat. Why is this squat? Have a good night, Sam. Good night. Have a good one. Thanks. Call from Irwin. Irwin. Hello? What's up, Erwin? Uh, hi, uh, this, is, this is a therapy gecko, right? Yep. Well, it's a pleasure to talk to you. Um, I never thought I'd actually talk to someone who has, who has relative decent fame. I, it's crazy. Anyway, I, just... I, I, I don't think... I don't, I'm... I, I, uh, I'm just... Uh... I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't. I don't know if I'm famous. I, I think I'm more just. I mean, five how thousand you, I mean, people, how you man. De- how would you even define famous? Um, if I had to say, if you have what would be considered a small army, so around two thousand, uh, watching you on a daily basis, I'd say that's quite famous. I mean, let's be honest. Like, the, how many of your average Joes get two thousand people on a minimum, day, uh, daily, possibly watching them? Um, I, I mean, having like a, I don't know, I guess, but I don't, I don't know, I guess, fa- well, fame is relative, I guess. Like, you know, like the popular kid in high school or whatever is, is, are they famous in a way? Because they have like, if you have three friends, you know, are you, are you famous? Because three people know you, if I have, you know, 500 people who, you know, Watch my, you know, stuff. Is it, am I? Fa- but then the, there's other famous people who have, like, you know, it's all. I feel like it's all relative. You're, like you're, anyone what you're, is oh, famous. Sorry, maybe. Colton. Yeah, what, no, what you're saying. I don't re- care what I have to say. What, what you're saying reminds me of a quote of being the biggest fish in the pond, but being nothing in the ocean. I just remember that quote. Mm. You ever watch the movie Big Fish? No, I have not heard of that. What is what is Big Fish? Uh, it's basically about a movie of like this guy whose grandpa basically tells him all these exotic stories about his life and and then base and that's basically it and it turns out these stories were kind of true but a little exaggerated that's just what i remember off the top of my head i'm, sh- I'm sure you're reddit ch- i'm sure the chat knows exactly what the movie big fish is someone in the chat just said big fish is the greatest movie ever made well congratulations for them i'm glad they found something they enjoy I, um, okay, I'll have to check that out. Do you think I would like it? Like, knowing, like, I don't know, if, uh, like, do you think I would like it? I mean, knowing what, what is your... information you know about me? I mean, what is your favorite genre of movies, if you're okay to divulge that information? I like videos on YouTube of, um, like, chiptune so like old, like video music, video game music from when I was a kid. My my favorite movie right now is is a long play of Shadow the Hedgehog. Hmm. That's the I most don't... recent movie that I watched. I mean, based There's off no the information I, based off the information I have available, I I don't know if you like Big Fish, but you know, everyone everyone has their likes, and so I I don't know. I I don't know you, so I don't know what you like, but. Yeah, I mean, I do, do you like think it. I... That something can be anything. Um, I mean, if you disassemble it on a on an atomic level, uh, yes, very much so. If you were to take apart the atoms and rearrange them, yeah, absolutely. You know, somebody else gave that exact answer, and then once they said that, that made perfect sense to me. That if you like. All right, so this fucking water bottle, you know, I asked, I said, can this water bottle be a dog? And. Theoretically, it can't because it's made of matter, and energy matter cannot be created nor destroyed. Um, and so theoretically, the, the matter from this could be transmuted into the matter that makes a dog, right? Yeah, that that is correct. I mean, I don't know if water bottles have all the necessary molecule uh, atoms to make a dog, but I'm sure that. I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure if you haven't. I don't know if they have carbon in them, but I do know carbon is one of the basic elements to make life. So you need carbon to make a dog. Yes, part of it. Yes, you do need carbon. I do know that. I mean, we're all carbon-based life forms. 
you know what I don't understand? How come we can't make living things? I feel like we should be... I feel like the technology should exist by now to be able to make a dog out of cardboard. I couldn't... I couldn't tell you that. Can you just get that? Can you just buy carbon? How do you get it? I don't exactly know. All I all I know is carbon is just an an element that exists, and that and that we and that us every life form is carbon based, and that is one of the building blocks of life in this, as far as we know, in the universe. Now I'm not a scientist. I'd have to ask my grandfather's a nuclear engineer, and he knows maybe more than I do. I'm just kind of spouting what he's told me over the years. How do you know all of that? That's this is all from your grandfather. Yes, uh, yes, he's a he's a retired nuclear engineer. He works. He's done. He's basically spent most of his life doing all this, and so I'm just kind of kind of spouting off what I remember him telling me when I was when I was younger, and then also from Damn. my watching of YouTube and also just of that. Erwin, I have a lot of respect for you because if I were 13 and my dad, my grandfather was telling me about uh, nuclear physics, I would not listen to a word he was saying. I don't blame you. I mean, I mean, even I mean, even at my young age, I didn't I didn't listen to everything he said. I mean, when I, I mean, when I was 13 years old, I just wanted to play video games all day. Did you ever play Shadow of the Hedgehog? Oh yes, I did. It got panned. Game. You know what? You know the game. You know when a game you play when you're a kid, you grow up and like everyone didn't like it, but you're like, oh, I thought the game was sick. Yeah, I never, I never really had, I never really accessed the internet much when I was 13, so I didn't really know much about about the dislike of Shadow of the Hedgehog. I mean, everyone's, I mean, they're all just opinions in the end. I mean, if you like it, who cares what anyone else thinks? I think it's a good mentality to have. Yeah. I mean, you know. Okay, so Oh, uh, you remember that guy who was talking about moving up to Alaska on your call yes, a little while ago? I do. Well, there's another place that would probably be better than Alaska if you know the language, and that would be Russia. And I'll tell you why, if you'd be interested. Please. In 2016, uh, Vladimir Putin signed into law a Russian version of the Homestead Act, uh, giving giving any Russian citizen, and I believe foreign nationals been living in Russia for at least five years, one free hectare of land in Siberia. And the only requirement, really, is you just got to make it better than what it was. It's literally free land. So wait, so the requirement is to make it better, but were they any more specific? Like, make it better in what way? Because that's so, kind of subjective. From what my from what my, from what I remember on Wikipedia and whatnot, you need to basically have a house and like and like a decent like like a, like a small farm on or a garden of some kind. And I don't, I don't know if you have to have utilities hooked up, but it does. You do have to have a house that's, you know, livable, and I think you have to have a small farm. But the whole point of this law is to repopulate, like Siberia and some of the areas, to put more people back in there. But yeah, I mean, if All you ever wanted to, is why, like, is why I, I, I feel like it's running away is so easy. I don't know why more people don't just run away from life. Well, I mean, when you when you feel like you have too much to lose, it's hard to run away. I mean, a lot of people have families, and they can't just. It's very difficult to just abandon your family. It is. I There's mean, another reason I mean, why you know having kids is a big decision because once you have kids, you can't really peace out. You could peace out from a um any you can peace out from like your wife or your husband, um, but you it's 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 harder to peace out from a child. I mean, in North Korea, I mean, they have a program where certain citizens get to work in Russia, but in order to be eligible, they have to have a family, so to basically discourage the people in Russia just running away. And it seems to be pretty effective. Urban, would you ever run away? Would you ever go off the grid? Uh, yeah, since I have nothing really to lose, uh, yeah, if I, if I knew what to do, uh, absolutely. You have nothing to lose? Pretty much. I mean, I, I mean, I have like a life that I care about, and I have a job, but I and I have a roommate, but I don't like, you know, I don't have family. I don't like to have my own family, and I don't have a partner, and I don't really have anything really holding me down. So if I really wanted to, I could do it. I hope you take advantage of that. I'm being kind of serious, you know. Um, there's a lot of uh, uh, opportunity in having no responsibilities. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of why I'm interested in living in Russia one day. It'd be kind of cool having your own land. And making it something cool. I hope to visit your land one day, Erwin. Yeah. Well, it was cool talking to you. I mean, tell 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 the Reddit chat that Erwin says hi. 
And, uh, well, it was great talking to you, man. Um, take care, and uh, uh, sorry about all the trolls, man. Oh, uh, well, I appreciate that. Have a good night, uh, Erwin. All right, you too, man. Bye. Wait, what trolls? Erwin's a very sweet guy. Call from Mint Julep. Mint Julep? Hello. Hi. How are you? Good. Excellent. I'm so happy I'm talking with you right now. I'm a little uh, starstruck, but I'm going to contain myself. Uh, uh, Mint Julep. Mint Julep, have, have we ever spoken before? Uh, not once. I've tried a bunch of times, but I've never gotten through. Mm, mm. Well, tell me, Mint Julep. Uh, you, you, so you tell me that you've tried a bunch of times, and so I'm sort of inferring that um, you potentially had something in, and it's okay if you didn't, but I, I, I assume that maybe you had something in particular that you, you wanted to talk about? Um, birds. Birds. What about birds? I've recently learned that I really like birds. I've been watching them. I'm trying to learn more about them. And I'm curious if you have any advice about how to befriend wild birds. How to befriend wild birds. Oh, well, before I, you know, uh, uh, try to give you any advice, I, I, I want to know what your interest is in befriending wild birds. What do you hope to gain from these birds? I guess um, just being a little bit closer to nature. Mm. Being a little bit closer to There's nature. There's something about that freedom, I guess, about a bird that it can fly away at any moment. But if it chooses to sit on my hand and eat food out of my hand, that I've been mm. chosen by a wild, mm. free creature. Mm. So you feel as though a, a, a bird accepting you as its friend is more valuable than a human doing so because the bird can go anywhere, but it chooses to be with you. I guess. But also, I'd like to think that <laughs> a person could do the same thing. Yes, exactly. They could. They could. Um, so, you know, your friendship with people is, is valuable as well, because exactly like you said, they could do the same thing. They could go anywhere. They could, people, you could take a train to, you could take a flight to Japan, but they're or, not, they're hanging out with you in your basement in, you know, Sterling, Virginia. Exactly. Um, birds, birds. Here's the thing, is that I, I, uh, my actual, my actual genuine advice for you is... You know, Mint Julep, I can tell that you're very excited to go out into the world and befriend birds, but I would be a little bit less excited. I would keep your expectations low because these birds, you can't hinge your... Similar to human friendships, not everyone's going to like you inherently. You have to get over that. The idea that everyone will like you if you just, you know show them whatever side of you you think will make them make them like you. So, I would lower your expectations. I would go in expecting the birds not to want to be your friend. So that way if in the event that it happens, I'm not saying it will or won't. I, I, I don't, I'm not going to make a call on that either way. But in, in the event that it happens, you won't be crushed because you had such high expectations. So I understand that these birds, they owe you nothing but that's good because um sets a sort of good tone for how you're going to want to approach the situation. Wonderful advice. Thank you so much. Of course. Of course, Ms. Julep. Um, I, I, I want to know, is there a particular type of bird that you would most like to be friends with? Uh, well, my favorite bird is the blue jay. A little bit, um, I guess, cliche, but I really do enjoy the blue jay. And uh, I'm also into woodpeckers, but I'm not really sure. I would be happy if any bird sat in my hand. You know what? That's great. That's great. That's another thing. Um, having low standards. Being <laughs> right. <open laughs> to any type of bird is going to set you up for happiness. I truly believe. Do you like birds? I know that's kind of a weird 
thing to like, but I mean, have you ever observed a bird or do you enjoy birds? They're kind of like dinosaurs. They're kind of cool. I, I, I have I have observed a bird before. Um, I'm not going to say I have any particular affinity for birds, but I, I, I have stopped and looked at a bird. Nothing special about it, though, right? They're too skittish for me. Like, if you go up and try to pet one, they'll, they'll run away. I like dogs because dogs can't fly away. You know? Yeah. They're, they're yeah. too big and fat. But well, me, Julep. You know, I think um, for your time. No, please, what were you going to say? I thank you for your time. Oh, of course. I of course. Thank you so much. I fly away for... like a little bird now. Thank you so much for, for uh, coming by. Yes, exactly. This, this call, you're like a little bird coming in, sitting on my uh, my phone line, and we're having a little chat, and now you're going to fly away. Right. I hope maybe we'll cross paths again soon. Maybe someday. Maybe someday. Thank you so much, Julep. It was a pleasure talking to you. Thank you, Gecko. Take care. Good night. Call from... Ryan. Ryan! Holy shit, is this the gecko? This is the gecko. What's up, man? I'm a gecko on the computer. Yeah, I'm, I'm watching you. Nice. How are you? Ryan, can something be anything? Well, yeah. Thank you so much for calling in. Oh. Wait, no. Ryan? Ryan, are you there? I am. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, cool. For like a split second, you thought I was going to like hang up on you. I did, yeah. And you, you seemed to be um, upset by that. I, I was, yes. So let me ask you something. In that moment... When your mind was like, oh no, he's going to hang up on me. But I wanted to tell him this one last thing. What was that thing? It was just going to be that I like your thigh hole. You like my thigh hole? It suits you. Thanks. Of course. Anything else? No, that's mainly it, yeah. Oh, a lot of things I like about you. But that was all I really just wanted to say. Do you like my eyes? I mean, I haven't seen them. Do you want to look right I'm now? I'm sure they're... I, y yeah. Are you looking? I mean... Oh, yeah. You have what a very intense gaze. Thank you. I think a life is a very intense experience, and I treat it with a, a, a matching intensity. I would agree with that. Do you like my nose? You know what? I, there's not many things I don't like about you. Is there anything you don't like about me? Not that I can think of right now, no. Is there anything you don't like about me? I don't know yet. Okay. That makes sense. Have a good listen to me, Ryan. Oh, all right. Hey, Ryan. Thank you for talking to me, sir. Just now, when you thought I was going to hang up on you, you might oh, have thought to God, yourself, you I wanted to tell him. Well, now I'm not! Call from... Chris. Chris! Hello. Can you hear me at all? People need to stop telling me that my dick is showing because I'm going to believe them. I'm going to think I'm going to get banned and it's freaking me out. So stop. Whoa. Dude. Dude. What? This is crazy. What? I can't believe I got through, dude. Dude. How's it going? 
I don't even know anymore, man. I don't even know. I don't know either. You said this is crazy? Why is this crazy? I don't know. I just guess I never thought I'd get through. I called like 200, 200 times. This is this look, this isn't a show. This isn't a stream. This is this is we're just on the we're just two people on the phone. Oh, this is the rerun we're talking about everyone was talking about earlier. What's your name? Chris. What did you do today? Oh, I worked. And then uh what do you work as? I restore electric pianos. That's extremely specific. I know, it's the weirdest thing. I don't even play piano. You don't even know how to play piano? No, I play the drums. So you're telling me that you know how to build a piano or fix uh, a piano, well, but you don't know how to play it. It's well, it's not like the piano you think it is. It's like a specific kind of electronic like piano thing. <laughs> it's, it's like uber, uber specific. It's weird. Did you always want? Did you always want to fix pianos? No, no, no. I've spent I've spent my whole entire life trying to figure out what to do. You know. Is is my dick hole actually showing? Oh, I'm not looking at the at the stream. I walked away. It's just a it's a th it's my thigh. Well, maybe you should uh, open the hole bigger. Let Chris, why is out. everyone so obsessed with sex? Gosh, I don't know. That's a difficult question. Are people and not having enough sex so they just think about it all the time? There's more to life than sex. It's an important yeah, part. Yeah, it's of life. Important. Life begins at sex conception, but it's not everything. Yeah. Damn, I don't know what to say to that. Last <laughs> time you had sex, Chris. Hmm. Three weeks ago. That's nice. What did you? Was I it? Um. Was it nice? Yeah, it was fun. I mean, I don't know. I, I'm kind of, uh, you know, you're 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 plagued by that like sexual drive, but then you you finally have the chance to do it, and you're like, well, maybe you don't actually like that person as much as you wish, and you're kind of wishing like, oh man, you want that person that you kind of, you know, you love, and it'll be a lot more fun. But then. You know, mm. you're kind of waiting around to find that person that you, you love, and it's just, you never know if they're the right person. And, you know, I don't mm. know. It's like, it sucks, man, you know? It sounds <laughs> to me, so it sounds to me that you were driven by, you know, a natural um, sexual desire to just have sex with somebody. And so you had a, a sort of casual fling and yeah, yeah. Then realized that um, it's just not as satisfying as, as, as you thought it might be and that you would rather um, find something a little bit more emotional and committed. And that maybe that might. Oh, yeah, totally. Like you, you, you want to be that cool kind of like hookup person. But then, I don't know, it just feels like that's not the right thing to do and maybe and the right thing to do is to like you know find someone you care about and you want to like spend time with but I don't know it's hard to it's hard to know anybody and, and, and meet anyone it's hard to meet people yeah yeah sort I mean sort of I mean it's like how do you really know anybody and like you're kind of like hoping you know you get to a certain age I guess at least for me I'm like 32 and you're like Man, what are like each person that sort of comes in your life at, in that romantic um, in that romantic way? You're like, well, is this is this going to be the person that's going to be with me forever? You know, so you have the you're already you're already putting this person into this box, you know, or this level of expectation, and it's like, why why the heck do you keep doing that? Like, my, my head is just 
it project it projects too much, I guess. Or, I'm rambling, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, who, did, who, who? How did you meet the person that you had sex with three weeks ago? Oh, um, I've, we've been friends for a while, and uh, we, we we we're both not similar. Like we're not we're not we wouldn't we wouldn't be a good couple. We just sure. sort of like don't want to hook up with strangers, so we just kind of figured we just keep this sort of relationship but i'm like very weary of those like friends with benefit relationships because somebody's gonna end up having more feelings for the other person sure and i know like exactly how i feel about her and and i've communicated like a lot about like hey look like every i'm every every once in a while when when we're hanging out i'm like hey just so like you know like this is how i feel about you still like i don't I just want, you know, I don't want anyone well, look, to... look, what you're sure. describing, I mean, by the way, is, uh, you know, to me, I mean, he's the cure to that anxiety. Um, it sounds like you're doing the right thing to me of, you know, I mean, the cure the cure to the anxiety of, you know, I don't want one person to, you know, think that this is, is you know, telling the truth and checking in every once in a while and be like, you know, look, yeah. this is just, just so you know, this is how I view things, mm-hmm. you know, so um, I, I, I want you to have that information as you are... You know, I want to make sure that we're on the same page here, that we both, you know, view things the same way, because that's very important. I think that's a good, yeah, that's yeah. A good check-in to be doing. Yeah, I mean, I think really what it comes down to is, like, you have to have a completely open and honest relationship with every person that you come in contact with, because I think, like, everyone, I guess, deserves that chance of, of trust and it's up to that other person to abuse it or, you know, take advantage. And, but I, I don't, I generally like to think, I mean, I used to be like a very misanthropic person and I realized like, what the hell is the point of that? And like, you know, missing out on so many opportunities and, and, and whatnot. So I think, you know, everyone deserves to, to see at least an honest representation of yourself, you know, and, and then you, know, you go from there. Do you find it, difficult or easy to um, to be as honest as you are um, yeah it took a it took a very long time I think I mean I'm not like I've never really been a liar but I feel like it's easier um, to deceive I guess in like little ways instead of like if someone's like oh you want to hang on you're like no, I'm not. I'm not feeling good. Even though you're not, even though you're feeling okay, you just don't really want to hang out. I think that's sort of like deception in, in a certain way. And why not yeah, just be like, I, no, go on. Oh, I was gonna say I don't. I don't mean in a um, you know, intentionally lying way. I mean in sort oh, okay. of a uh, you know, sounds like you're you're going out of your way to be very truthful and to. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I think it's Let part your of my thoughts and feelings be authentically known. Yeah, yeah. I think I'm a very vulnerable sort of person and very trustworthy. But it's like, I think having, yeah, being, I guess, being vulnerable. It's like this person who is going to enter my life, and you know, um, is going. To, obviously, they're going to be. They're going to know that, and they're going to be kind of like force-fed all of these insecurities and blah 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 it's like so if you can handle all that kind of stuff then it's like okay we can be friends because like you get to know all that right off the bat so you have like that choice of like i can't handle this dude he's too mm-hmm. he's too he's too much no but that, i think that sorry go on oh I, no i don't mean to interrupt you but i mean that the way that you're talking about you know this vulnerability is um such a great way to live it's challenging as fuck it's not oh, always sure. easy, yeah. but it's a great way to live if you, if you can hack it. If you can, I mean, not you don't have to be a full expert, but the more vulnerable and open you can be, things are just are just better for you. I think you I, it causes. I mean, it's it's tough, but I, I I think it eases anxiety a little bit to be very comfortable being vulnerable in that way. Yeah, yeah, and I think a big part of that also is listening, and that's something I, I feel like you're very, very good at, you know, as far as, like, I've been following your 
your live streams and stuff is like you you allow the person to kind of like go on and then when the, and then you don't interrupt very often and that's like I think a very important key to listening to somebody you know you allow that person to kind of explore what their thought is going to be and then you chime in and you you know you engage with and you and proceed with the conversation and, and react the way you know I don't know it's just something that's I, I noticed about you and it's amazing you should check out this um this book there's a book that I, I i know it's you know whatever people shit on like dating books and whatever but there's this one dating book that i read like three years ago that i really like that's about this that's about like the whole kind of premise of it is that a lot of like dating advice is sort is is traditionally based on like deception and like stupid like, uh, uh. rules and things and this is sort of talking about um how vulnerability is the true way to build great relationships uh it's called models oh okay. by a guy named okay. mark manson i don't know if you know you've heard of it but no no i i'm i've been a big fan of this guy marshall rosenberg if you know him he's uh never heard of him he's, he's like the non-violent communication guy uh, yeah, you definitely, definitely check out his stuff. It's 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 pretty it's it's pretty astounding, you know. About Mark like, Rosenberg, uh, Marshall Rosenberg, Marshall he, Rosenberg. Okay, yeah, so. it's, it's called nonviolent communication, and, and it's about you know he has these like two little puppets. One is like a giraffe, and one is a uh, not a, not a dog. It's like a, ah crap. I can't think of the other thing. It's kind of like a dog thing and it's a dog thing yeah it's a like that idea um but ones you have to listen with giraffe ears because giraffes have the biggest heart and stuff like that and it's all about like not taking other people's pain and sort of um thanking the person when they when they tell you something it's, a, it's all about wanting and needs and how everything between people is just like what you want them to do and how like raising children is sort of like no you know don't do that because i said so and it's like sure. how are you gonna like it's it's all violent communication but i know i'm taking up so much time well but, listen but, what did you say your name was my name's chris chris it was uh it was a pleasure talking about all this stuff with you and i uh, wish you the best of luck in all the future yeah man i'll be at, i'll be at the new york city show dude oh hell yeah i'll see yeah, you there yeah, baby yeah. yeah man we'll go crazy yeah, we'll do, I gotta, uh, I, I gotta, I gotta, we gotta do an after party. I don't know where the hell we'll do it, but we'll figure it out. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna give it a shout out real quick, quick to Tortilla Corn, Hella Toast, Maligator, Fairy Damon, and uh, I can't think of this. There's another one, but yeah, I, I, I chat on there all the time, so it's nice to finally get there. Beautiful. All right, all right. Lyle, wait, wait. I'll what's your you. name in the chat? Oh, Nosferatu. Ah, oh, I see yeah. you around here, dude. Fuck yeah, yeah. I'm, well, chirp, uh, I'm, I'm chirping around there a lot. So. Fuck yeah, dude. Well, thank you so much, Nosferatu. You have a good rest of the night. All right, dude. Bye. Call from. Oh, diggity. Oh, diggity? Yeah. Hey. Hey. Yeah, what's up, man? How much? What's up with you? <laughs> Nothing. What's going on tonight? You tell me, R. Diggity. You tell me. What's going on with you? I'm just wondering, uh, hypothetically, with sure. the political uh, situation going on right now, what would you think, hypothetically, if something came out of the uh, Arizona audit, what would happen? The Arizona audit? Yeah. I'm not sure what that is. Oh, the uh, 2020 election audit. Uh, uh, I was like, like if to see if there was election fraud in Arizona. Yeah, you got it. Like, what would I think if something came out? Yeah, I mean, can something be anything or anything be something? That's a pretty big deal. Uh, I mean, I don't know any. I don't really know anything about this audit. Got it. All right. Well, we can get more uh, ethereal if you'd like. Sure. 
Do, do you believe something will come out of this audit? Personally, I do, but I want to wait for the evidence for sure. Do you believe that there's a giant government conspiracy going on? Uh, not necessarily government conspiracy, but I, I do think that there's uh, a, a lot of uh, questions that should be answered for sure. When you say you'd like to talk about something more earth, erythral, what, uh, what, what are you referring? What, what, what would be more erythral for you to talk about? Uh, I just meant if uh, the political stuff didn't really sit well with the audience, uh, willing to speak about something a little bit more interesting. Sure. But what so, is interesting to you? What is interesting to me? Um, I would say the uh, just some existential questions. But I, I like the uh, so. So, what do you think is uh, at the the edge of the universe? The edge of the universe. Yeah. Are you a flat earther? No. So the the universe has no edge. Uh, well, I mean, if you look at the way that they map the universe, uh, it, it would end at a, at a three dimensional kind of donut shape. But no, not a flat earther. So you're a donut earther? <laughs> no. Uh, Earth is spherical. The the universe has uh, an end to it. What do you believe is at the edge of the universe? That is a good question. I have no idea. I've recently been watching a documentary about black holes that states that uh, all of the information and matter that goes into the black hole is actually contained. Uh, so it actually stores information and uh, slowly emits it back out. Mm. You know, I don't know anything about science or th things going on. Um, kind of a dumb guy. You're not uh, dumb. Don't Is care to really think about to the black something, holes something. or the, you know, dogs. I keep saying, do I don't know why I'm using dogs for everything. I think it's just, it's a funny word to say. Dog. Dog? But the animals? The dogs. We got the dogs in here, dude. Um... Ethereal. You, are you a big? Do you believe in conspiracies? Do you believe in like that the world is against us in some way? That there are reptilian overlords? No, 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 no. I don't, I don't think the reptilians are are, are are realistic. I think they're as realistic as flat Earth. I would say that uh, there's a big misdirection going on uh, in mass, and I, I think the vast majority of people are waking up to that. Uh, so I have a very optimistic view in humanity. You have a view that humanity is waking up to the misdirection? Yes. Do, do you think that... Do you think that's good? Yes. Uh, do, you, do you feel like you have been misdirected? Uh, personally, no. Um, but I, I feel like a, a lot of people have been, and I feel like that's changing just based on um, the area that I live in uh, and, and small talk that I've had with people. The, the, the general consensus has changed significantly. What, what area do you live in? Uh, East Coast. Nice. Well, I, I look, I hope everything works out for you. Everything's great. Beautiful. Uh, damn, man. Is there anything else you wanted to talk about? No, I no, no. My brain has been fried after three hours. Hey, well, it's that thigh hole. It's letting too much air out. It's the, it's the thigh hole? Yeah, of course. I gotta get this baby sewed up. Hey, no, you're good, man. Don't worry about that. Well, look, I appreciate uh, you calling in, man. It was a pleasure talking to you. Yeah, you too, buddy.
Take care. See ya. Call from Caleb. Caleb. Paul. What's up, dude? Caleb, I can't hear you at all. What's up, dude? Caleb, give me something good here. What's going on? Dude, what should I get for a midnight snack? I'm I'm deciding I want to go to 7-Eleven. I want to get Masubi. I want to get a drink. I don't know what to do. I want your help, Gecko. I want your help. Mm, okay, tell, all right, I got I got to hear a little bit about your preferences first. What do you like? Do you like what I like to do when I go to 7-Eleven is I'll get four things. Um okay. I get I get um sort of an entree food situation, uh a snack to go with it, a desserty item and then a drink. Okay. Here's the issue with that. I'm not that hungry. I had dinner maybe like 2 hours ago. But Caleb, I, Caleb friend... I can't I, are I on like speakerphone right now? No, you're not. What the fuck? Okay, no, I, I got you. Okay, so you're not you that hungry. Me? You're not that hungry. I like blue Doritos, but I don't know if I want that right now. You like blue Doritos? Yeah, the blue ones. Mm. Uh, so, I mean, so then get blue Doritos. Sounds like you are. Okay, sounds like okay, you okay. already kind of knew what you wanted, which is I'm, I'm happy that um, I could, like, be here in support for you to, like, figure it out on your own. Okay, but Masubi, do you know what Masubi is? Nope. It's Spam and rice with teriyaki mm. sauce. I'm torn. What do I do? I've never heard of uh, I've never heard of that before. You're torn between what? Between Doritos and Masubi? Yes, precisely. Get both. It sounds like one is more of a chip and one is more of a you know sort of food thing. Okay. Thank you, Lyle. Of course, Caleb. I, I'm so happy to. You're, you're make, maybe I'll go to 7 Eleven after this. I always say I'm going to go out and get food after the. I always just go to bed and eat what's in my kitchen. Get some blue Doritos, man. All right, I might get myself some blue Doritos. That sounds actually pretty good. I appreciate you um, inspiring me to do that. I appreciate it. Thank you, Caleb. Caleb, I'm kind of losing you right now, but it was a pleasure speaking with you. It was a pleasure speaking with you, too, Gek. Thank you. You have a good rest of the night. You too, man. That was pleasant. That was very pleasant. Thank you. Thank you to Kaylin. Therapy get goes on the line, taking your phone calls every night. Therapy get goes doing it right, he's teaching you how to live your life, but he's not.